Can the weather be manipulated to fight climate change? The European Commission wants to have this debate at the highest international level as it looks at the risks of so-called climate engineering, a contested technology still under development that could help to call the planet. We note that geoengineering is discussed and explored in several parts of the world and that it is considered by some as a potential future response to climate change. This is an issue with global implications and considerable risks. Nobody should be conducting experiments alone with our shared planet. But what exactly is climate engineering, also known as geoengineering, and how can it manipulate the weather? Researchers are already working on several types of technologies that they think could lower temperatures. One is called stratospheric aerosol injection. That means airplanes releasing tiny particles that reflect light back. But according to some experts, hundreds or even thousands of specialised planes working for years would be needed. And then there's marine cloud brightening, an attempt to increase the reflectivity of low clouds with the help of aerosol particles released from boats. There are doubts, though. An important part of the scientific community is critical of these technologies. 400 scientists have sent an open letter expressing their concerns, and among them Frank Bierman, an expert in global governance at Utrecht University. And these uncertainties cannot go away by research, because in the end, the final impact of these technologies, you will only know when you try it out at planetary scale. You can't really get rid of all the uncertainties by experiments in the lab. And also small-scale outdoor experiments cannot really tell you the full story. They cannot tell you really what are the risks that, are, uh, that, that, that might reveal themselves only when you deploy these technologies at planetary scale over many, many years. Social scientists are really concerned about the geopolitical risk. What happens if some countries do it alone? A group of scientists largely in the USA are advancing these ideas. But the European Commission believes the topic should be discussed at the highest international level to decide if and which kind of regulation is needed.